Hello! Thank you for watching another episode at Investing with All I See is W. Today, I wanted to make this video to share with you three additional picks that I feel will add value to your investment portfolio. But first, before I begin, i like to inform you that the information I'm sharing with you should be used as guidance information only. Alright, let's get started. So the ticker number one I first wanted to explain to you is going to be company Regal Pharmaceuticals, okay, by the ticker RIGL. So as you can see, the current share price as of today is at $2.54. All right, it took a total of a 2.31% drop, and in the aftermarket, it actually dropped even further, where aftermarket price is $2.41, but we don't know what the actual current price is going to be tomorrow. But let's look at the five-year trend chart here all right so as you can see at one point in time in 2018 mid-year share price was getting close to uh, four dollars and uh, four dollars and fifty cents in 2018 of March okay and then it dropped down to its trough here which was a dollar and thirty cents all right this was early uh, March of this year and then it got up to about a dollar and seventy eight cents at July twenty twenty and then it spiked up here where it reached up to three dollars and twenty four cents around July sixteenth, twenty twenty, and then it dropped back down. So now it's currently priced at two dollars and fifty cents. Now let's get more of a zoomed in view view here, okay? So as you can see we can see this big jump that was received here in the month of July and now it's hovered back down to the low twos up to two dollars and fifty four cents now now let's look at the one month trend chart so as you can see it reached up to actually four dollars here and now it's hovering down to the low twos let's look at the five day trend chart two dollars and seventy cents the trough here is around two dollars and forty cents and now we're seeing a slight pickup here at $2.50. And I do suspect that the 5-day moving average would have intersected the 20-day uh, moving average based on this, this significant gain here. All right, so what conclusions can we draw based on looking at the trend chart? Well, it's very difficult to time the market, but if we implement the fundamental strategies of buying low and sell high, I think this is a great buying opportunity here. All right, let's look at a, a three month trend chart here. All right, there's no way we could have predicted this jump here, but the fact that it's hovered down and the fact that it's got back to like the low $2.01 before it jumped back up, you're getting it at like a 60% discount from the high peak point here of the resistance. All right, and the fact that this company is working on an actual medication to support with symptoms like the COVID-19 pneumonia, I feel like this company based in South San Francisco will continue to receive support and that this company will grow in its share price. All right, now let's look at what the analysts are saying. So as according to Webull, there are seven financial analysts recommending this company as a buy with a 28.57% recommending as a strong buy, okay? And let's look at the average price target. So the current price range is at $2.54 with a high estimate of $8 and a low estimate of $5. So as you can see, this may be a very devalued, undervalued company that may grow in its share price over time. And I feel like this is a value investment type of company that you may potentially gain on significant folds, not just 100%. All right, now let's go over to uh, ticker number two here. Well, before I go over to ticker number two, this is just a picture of Regal over here, pharmaceuticals. It looks very nice just looking at the, the building here, and that's based in South San Francisco. All right, ticker number two is Zo Medical Pharmaceuticals by the ticker ZOM. So this company is supporting the advancement of pharmaceutical drugs for companions like animals and dogs and with certain products that they're working on like the liquid biopsy and different diagnostic tests to test for like thyroid problems 
and other cancer related problems in animals I feel like this company currently with its share price hovering at the very low I mean if you look at the 52 week high this was 49 cents and the 52 week low is is we're only four cents away so capitalizing on getting it at the low right now buying low and you can potentially sell high this may even go beyond the 49 cents based on just momentum and just looking at the trend chart here right I mean we see a lot of fear factor going on where we're seeing a lot of sell-offs going on but hey when when this happens then you should be capitalizing and parking your money on a low cost share price because as you do this you make a big purchase you can buy a lot of quantity of shares and once the share price increases in value you do the math and you'll see how much positive proceeds you gain all right so i hope that helps but just wanted to emphasize that this company the fact that the share price is so low and the fact that you know the analysts here are also recommending as a, a buy here with just one analyst however it's looking quite promising look look at the uh, price target here right we have a current uh, 15 cents and the price target is low estimate of 50 cents high estimate of 50 cents so not so much data but you know it's looking better than than buying something like at a 50 cents 70 cents when it's only 15 cents and it has room for growth all right so now I'm going to hover over to ticker number three and it's unrelated to the biotech sector but I just pulled this out of the bag from one of my long list of tickers and wanted to share with you a positive company that may reach its comeback here all right and that's YRC Worldwide W okay YRCW all right this company overall has taken a bad beating for the last five years okay as you can see it was hovering around fifteen dollars down to ten dollars fifteen gets back up to a peak of 17 and it just starts tumbling down and down and down and down and we know some of the disruptive companies are like Amazon you have like UPS and you have like FedEx as freight services now YRCW has been in the business for many years it's been in the game for long times just supporting with freight service across the United States however now I do foresee a potential increase in its share price now let's look at the one month range all right so it was two dollars and fifty cents and now it's shot back up to four dollars here all right let's look at the three month range back in may of 2020 it was one dollar and then now it's by a fourfold of four dollars within a year as you can see it's trending back up and let's see what the financial analysts are saying okay so According to Weeble, three analysts are saying hold, okay, with a 33% recommending a buy with one analyst. And let's look at the price target. While this ticker has a stock price target set to $8, while the current price is $4, with a high estimate of $12. So there you go. There's potential room for growth with a company that's taking such a bad beating and it's not going out of business anytime soon, given that there's a lot of shelters in place and we haven't seen businesses at its full optimal prime just look at you know restaurants for example where you have capacity limits being changed now because of the six feet social distancing so companies aren't really fully optimized right now and it's still in the transitional period all right so those are the three tickers i wanted to share with you and i hope that you find this video valuable and if you find it something that you'd consider you'd like moving forward please hit the subscribe and consider supporting my channel i'd love to make more videos related to this and share with the community well thanks again for your support and thanks for your time watching all i see is w all right bye bye